there are all of these songs on the radio, Christian songs, and I listen to a lot of them. I love them. But there's a lot of Christian songs that have this language of like, God, you're on my side. You're going to fight my battles. You're going to be there for me. Um, you're going to reign victory in my life, which is awesome. I'm not discounting that. Um, but we have to make a switch in our brains. Um, is the Lord God, when you read the Lord Almighty in Scripture, okay, like whatever translation you read, um, if your translation says Lord Almighty, you know what that means? That means Lord of heavenly armies. That's what it means. Lord, you are you are the commander in chief of all of the legions of armies in heaven. So, yes, there's a there is a characteristic a nature of God that fights battles. And reigns victory. I mean, that's that's Jesus, the Messiah, the anointed one, the, the king of heaven, Jesus. He, uh, he was all about reigning victory over the battle of death, like the ultimate enemy. He reigned victory over it. But the thing that, that we have to remember with these songs, they're like, Lord, you're on my side. Lord, you're fighting for me. Um... There's this beautiful, very awesome passage at the beginning of the book of Joshua. Okay, Joshua is in the Old Testament. is after the first big five books, Genesis through Deuteronomy. And Joshua is leading the Israelites. They've, they've been out of Exodus. They've, they've been out of Egypt. They've had a big exodus. They've been released from slavery. And they're making their way into the promised land. And... Joshua is about to lead them into Canaan and he's walking to Jericho to kind of spy on them and he sees this man and this man turns around and it's very obvious we're not giving a description really but it's very obvious that this man is of God this is this is in the army of God and he has a sword drawn. And when Joshua sees him, Joshua falls face down like, oh, like in terror. And he says, are you for us or for our enemy? Like, are you on our side or are you on their side? And this man of God, the Lord God, goes, neither. I'm in the Lord's army. The Lord is not on our side. <laughs> He's not on th the other side. We're on his side or we're not. That we have to switch the roles because we are he's not part of our army. We're a part of his army. He is not going around going, I'm just going to be on your side. I'm going to support you and whatever you want to do. I'm going to help reign victory in your life. No, that's not who God is. God goes, I will reign victory in your life. Are you going to be on my side so that I, you, so that you can see the battle won? Because I don't just join forces with you. You join forces with me. When I think about some of you friends, like I know what you're going through. I know parts of it. And like you are in a battle and you are trying your hardest to figure out how to, how to reign victory. Like, how do I stand firm in this battle? How do I fight this battle? And I encourage you, seek the commander, <laughs> seek the commander of the army because we can't look at it and go, I'm fighting this battle. God, you're on my side. No. I'm fighting this battle. Lord, you want to reign victory. I'm going to have to join up with you. I need to make sure that I'm fighting for the right thing. I need to make sure that I'm fighting in the right way. Um, we read at the end of Ephesians, Ephesians 6, the battle is not against flesh and blood. The battle is against spiritual forces that are happening. Now, I don't know how you feel about spiritual forces. I believe in spiritual forces. There's a whole lot of stuff we can't see. If we can't see gravity, we better know that there's a lot more we can't see. Okay. Um, that's where the battle is. 
is these spiritual forces. And our weapons don't look like the world's weapons. So if you're standing firm in a battle, you got to stand firm on his side using his belt of truth and his helmet of salvation and his shoes of peace and his breastplate of righteousness and his, his, what is it? Shield of faith and his ultimate weapon, the sword, which is the word of God. We stand firm on his word. We stand firm on what he is doing and what he is proclaiming. And our weapons that we use in our battles to win our battles are his weapons. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. We look at those weapons and we go, surely that can't win a war. Oh, it does. It does. So, friend, keep standing firm in your battle. But... Really seek out, like, am I standing firm on God's side? Because that's where the victory is. The victory is not in what I want. The victory is in what God wants. So I got to join up with him and see the victory. I love you, friends. Um, okay, on, on Thursday, Unshaken starts. Do you know what Unshaken is? Unshaken is... Our next Slated for Grace Bible study series. And somebody the other day was like, I don't understand how to access that. Like, how do I get this free series? It's online. It's at patreon.com slash Slated for Grace. You go. It's an app. You can download the app. It's all free. You download the app. You click on it every day. And you read the devotional. Or you watch every Thursday. There's a video. And you watch it. And you walk through at your own pace the this Thursday, it starts Unshaken, which is our Advent series. And every week, we are diving into the history of a woman in the genealogy of Jesus. Uh, this first week is Tamar. And people, these women were in desperate, desperate circumstances. They were in the midst of literal war and spiritual war, depending on the woman. <laughs> um you're going to watch them and how they stand firm and how they, they don't always join up with God, but you know, <laughs> God, they do eventually. And the Lord blesses and leads and guides and takes care of and sustains. And, and I want you to be a part of that. So, um, join up unshaken starts this Thursday. Um, I'm here to pray for your battles. I'm here to surround you and help you have the courage to stand firm in ways that the world wouldn't always agree with. Um, but our breastplate of righteousness is, Lord, I'm going to seek your word and I'm going to stand firm on what you say, on what your voice says, not on what the world says. So, all right. I love you, friend. Hey, if you're on the subscriber list for Slater for Grace, you should have gotten an email today. Like a, like an exciting one. An exciting email. If you didn't get it, um, check your promotions tab of Google. Okay? <laughs> or your spam. I don't think it goes to spam, but hopefully not. Um, but if you're not a part of the subscriber list, just go to slatedforgrace.com and put your email in at the bottom of any screen. Okay? Um, and you'll get a seven-day devotional delivered directly to your inbox. Um, almost immediately, but um, that that email today has a lot of really fun, exciting things in it about Advent groups, about small groups in town, about the upcoming series that's free, that's online. Um, it also has swag, um, Slave for Grace swag, if you have wanted any of that. Um, we do have a shirt now, and it is available. Um, so, it's cute. It's comfy. It's purple. Okay. I love you, friend.